Here we have a 2005 Saab 93 Vector Estate in blue, starting with the offside front tyre. Tread depth, looking at about two, two to three mil, uh, quite close to changing. A little bit of wearing on the outside edge as well. Looking at the uh, offside front tyre alloy, you've got a scuff on the spoke there, a bit of a curve mark as well. Look around the rest of the alloy again, just one or two minor scuffs, but not bad at all for its age. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, um, there is one or two small dinks, no signs of any serious dents down the bodywork at all there. Looking around the offside front arch, um, again, that looks okay, no signs of any apparent damage. Um, looking at the mirror, again, that's fine. Uh, the paint has come off around the surround here though. Um, looking around the, um, the driver's door itself, again, there is just the odd one or two light scratches here um, on the uh, the body of the driver's door. So again, a bit of a polish will be required. You can see it around just behind the driver's door as well. There's a couple of light scratches there. No signs of any serious damage at all though. Um, door sills, just one or two light marks there. Rear door, again some light scratches. There is a bit of paint starting to bubble around the rear arch there. Um, so again, just a couple of touch-ins and a bit of a polish really. Some light scratches around the uh, rear arch, rear quarter. Uh, right on the rear bumper quarter there, you've got a scuff mark that will require a bit of a smart repair. The light scratches will be able to polish out. Rear tyre, look at easily good 4mm there. And to come the rear alloy, as you can see there is some curbing around the alloy there. So again, a refurb will be required on this alloy. Moving towards the rear end of the car. Looking on the back here again, there's some light scratches around the rear bumper, um, as you can see around here. So a bit of a polish will be required. Um, no signs of any serious damage. There is some paint starting to peel just under the boot lid there, so just be wary of that. If we open up the car fully so we can actually get inside. As you can see, we've got your parcel shelf in there. Not bad condition, and there is a spare wheel underneath all the trays there. Moving around to the near side rear tyre. Again, you're looking at about 4mm of tread. Looking on the rear alloy, a little bit of a curb at the top there, a little bit of a scuff, some scratches, and again some curbing around this alloy. So refurb will be required. Um, apart from that, a couple of scratches, you've got a paint peel on the front arch there as well. Rear door edge is fine, front door edge has got a couple of nicks in it, so some touchings will be required there. A little bit of paint starting to bubble just underneath the uh, front passenger door there, as well as a bit of a polish needed. Front mirror is fine, again, paint starting to peel all off there. Front arch, again there's a light scuff mark which has taken the paint off so might require a smart repair. And the front tyre looking at about 4 to 5 mil. Front alloys, you can see there is some curbing on this alloy so will require a refurb. And to move around to the front end of the vehicle, uh, no signs of any apparent damage. Uh, and there is some sc scratches or some touchings going to be required all along the front here so you can see there are some scuff marks on the front bumper. And then just a couple of stone chips really. On the front, and obviously the badge has worn there, and then a few stone chips on the bonnet. Taking a look at the interior of the car. Inside, you've got the two-tone cloth and leather. Um, again, slight bit of wearing around the leather. Again, it is a ten-year-old car now, but no signs of any serious damage um, or any damage at all. Carpets and mats are even clean. Back of the seats are fine as well. So for its age, it's actually in lovely condition inside. On your driver's seat, as you can see, there is quite a bit of wearing around the leather of the driver's seat there, especially on the bolsters as you can see. So quite a lot of wearing there on the driver's seat. Um, front passenger seat isn't as bad at all. Dashboard centre console's not bad. A little bit of wearing around the gear stick and the steering wheel's not bad either. Stepping inside the car itself. Now we do only get one key with a vehicle. Uh, so it is just the one key which you can see on the video there. And as you can see it is a little bit damaged to be fair. Starting up the vehicle though, if we look at the dash. As you can see, starting the vehicle, it is a little bit rattly. As you can see, left dip beam failure. Um, so just be wary of that. There's also a service light which indicates on the car as well. Uh, that should, uh, should pop up soon. Mileage wise, 166,839. There's a slight little crack in the display there. And also a small chip on the window there, that is very small though. Um, the service light will come on if uh, not quite sure how you go through the trip. 
uh, on this. Um, but service light does indicating as well. As you can see, it's a nice display here. There's no issues with the radio. That works fine. Navigation as well on the vehicle. Just go back there. Um, so navigation except view map. As you can see, the navigation works perfectly fine. Um, so that's in good order. No issues with the blowers. As you can see, the buttons are starting to wear out. Um, no sign of any aircon. Manual transmission now putting it into reverse is very stiff. So you've really got to push over into the corner and unfortunately that does pop lock um, or pop back undone. So obviously you've got to lift this to put it into reverse. As I let go that does pop back into first gear. So to put it into reverse you've got to kind of hold it there otherwise it does pop into first. So obviously just be wary of that. That I'll need sorting out. Um, looking at the paperwork, we're looking at two owners on the V5, so not a lot of owners to be fair. MOT to January 29th, 2016, and service history is quite a lot of service history in the book. As you can see, there you've got um, first one there, 18, and we've got 37 there, uh, 87, so there was a bit of a jump unfortunately. We then got 100, 109, 123. 126, 135, and the last one there out of 147. So the car does require service as we speak, but to be fair, it's got quite a bit of service history. Uh, also, to be noted, there is a slight bit of smoke coming out of the exhaust. So it is a very slight bit of smoke coming out of the exhaust. Um, so obviously, be wary of that as well. There you go, guys. Let's see 2005 Saab 93 Vector.